What's up guys and welcome back to another video and today I am bringing you episode number 3 of the FIFA Legends series and today we are going with two monstrous cards from the past. We are going for now right back, uh, formerly centre back, you know he moved about everywhere, where is he, where is he, there he is, Marvel win, always been a rock solid beast on this game and at striker we are going for Mr Nando Torres of Atletico Madrid obviously he's been so good on past FIFA's but we do we do go with a 4-3-3 flat very very solid formation and in goal we go for Justin um, once again using him I've used him in the previous uh, FIFA Legends team because that's just how it worked out um, I don't like him that much but I needed him there for chemistry because well every single American goalkeeper on this game sucks but his stats are 78 uh, sorry, 78 diving 82 reflexes 80 handling and 83 positioning he is six foot three cost me 19,000 coins um I couldn't really complain he didn't do too badly but I didn't really want to use him to be honest two center backs we go for is a perfect link to Marvel win in Goodison and obviously the link to Justin in John Brooks um, the, the, here's the reason I had to use Jarstone because this guy is so good. 74 pace, 81 defending, and 75 physical. Six foot four, medium medium work rates. Sorry, I played uh, six games with him in total. He got three yellow cards in the four games I played with him, so he's disciplined a bit shit, or is it me being shit with him? One or the other. Clarence Goodison is the other centre back. 55 pace, so a little bit lower, but 72 defending and 76 physical. Six foot four, low high work rates, perfect work rates, great height. You know, he was very solid, and I didn't even have to comment on him because it, I, he, I just didn't even realise he was there. That's how good this team actually was. Um, when it comes to playing with it, he just I just couldn't even really tell he was there. I didn't really need him there, to be honest. This team was so solid at defending. Left back, we go for Bernat uh, from Bayern Munich. 79 pace, 82 dribbling, 76 defending and 76 passing. High medium work rates, 4 games and 1 assist. So, obviously, everyone knows how good Bernat is. He's a very, very sweaty player, even though he's only got 79 pace. Talking about sweat. Marvel win. Former bronze centre back, bronze right back, silver right back, whatever you want. He has been so good since like FIFA 12, and he uh, he's still so good on this game. He's still got 90 pace at the age of 30, 65 dribbling, meh, 63 defending, meh, 80 physical is the other stat we want to look at him. That is a brilliant stat to have, especially the combination of 90 pace and 80 physical. Five foot nine, a medium high work rates as well, so even like brilliant work rates. And he got one assist in four games. Um, I just, yeah, I loved him. I thought he was absolutely brilliant. Three centimetres we go for are all Spanish. We go for Pozzello, I think his name is. Coke, and we go for Ander Herrera. We'll start off with Herrera. 72 pace, 84 dribbling, 72 shooting, 81 passing, and 71 physical. Six foot tall, high, high work rates, four star weak foot, and four star skill moves. Four goals, four assists in a total of 19 games. Not being biased because he's a Man United player, but he is one of my favourite sentiments on this game. He just does work. He's got four star skill moves. He is phenomenal. As is Coke, it's the first time I've used him this year. 71 pace, 82 dribbling, 75 shooting, 85 passing, 74 physical, five foot ten, high, high work rates. Four star weak foot and three star skill moves, four assists and one goal in four games. So a great little return from Koke. Obviously, that perfect link to Fernando Torres, which is needed. Final player is Alejandro Pozuelo. We've got Pozuelo. I wanted to use him because he gets a lovely link to the le uh, the right wing. And if you you know if you're a bit of a FIFA nerd, you know exactly who that is. His stats on card are 81 pace, sorry, 63 pace, meh. 81 dribbling, 70 shooting, 80 passing, 5 foot 7, high medium work rates, 4 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves. He got 3 goals and 1 assist in 4 games. So I can't complain about him. He was actually very, very good. He was like a striker poaching uh, left, right and centre. I really, really loved using him. Left wing, we go for a strong link to Ander Herrera. That is Anthony Martial. And at right wing, we go for that beautiful, beautiful blue card. Team of the group shows Leon Bailey from um, KR, KRC Genk. Uh, his stats are 94 pace, 83 dribbling, 74 shooting, 78 passing, 5 foot 11, high medium work rates, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. He got me one goal and 3 assists in 4 games. He costs 100,000 coins. I think he's dropped ever so slightly now. Uh, just under, yeah, 100k, 197. So he's dropped just under, so I'm going to lose like 10k on him. I wouldn't pay 100k for him. I think you're paying 100k for the card more than him. Um... He was good, but I wouldn't honestly wouldn't not 
pay 100k for him. On the left hand side, we go for Anthony Martial, 91 pace, 87 dribbling, 79 shooting, 70 passing, and 76 physical. Six foot tall, high medium work rate, four star weak foot, and four star skill moves. Got two goals and one assist in four games. So he didn't contribute too much. Um, I was, you know, passing it through to this man. Fernando Torres. I never call him Fernando Torres. I will call him Nando. Never call him Fernando. Always Nando. Always a cheeky Nando. 77 pace, 79 dribbling, 78 shooting, 71 passing, and 70 physical. Here's 6 foot 1, medium, medium, rock crits, 4 star weaver, and 3 star skill moves. He just costs 850 coins, so he is so cheap. And look at that record 8 goals, 3 assists in 4 games. Ridiculous. And I'm just looking on foot, foot Wiz now, his previous cards. Back when he played for Liverpool, he had that 92 rated upgrade on FIFA 10 with 93 shooting. He had the 86 on FIFA 11. He had the special cards for days on, on FIFA 12 and 13. He had, you know, that Inform 87. He had that lovely purple international man in the match at uh, 88. Then he had another Inform and a man in the match at FIFA 13. And then from FIFA 14 onwards, he, dro he dropped dramatically. He went from an 85 Chelsea striker on FIFA 13 to an 82. Then went to Milan. Went to Milan, back to Atletico, and he's sitting at Atletico now. This year, an 81 rated card. And honestly, I love him. I think he is absolutely brilliant. Despite the fact he played for Liverpool and Chelsea, he is phenomenal. Saying about Bailey, though, I just want to have a look at their stats. If you compare an 82 rated, in, uh, sorry, an 82 rated gold and a special card silver, their pace, their stat difference is, you know, it's a bit. You can definitely tell that he's a silver. We're looking at Martial, you know, he's only better than Martial in passing and in pace and honestly you could tell it um, Martial was a, a lot better on the ball in my opinion that has been a team I hope you all enjoyed as always there'll be some clips at the end and my links to Twitter and Instagram down in the description below please drop me a follow please drop a like on the video and I shall see you all next time. bye guys